All right, hello audience, and welcome to The Binding of Isaac Afterbirth Plus, uh, and also my first video. So we're going to just not bother with like a big introduction, we're just going to jump in. As you can see, I have a completely new file here, and on this uh, screen here, you can see that I have 1001% on one file, still work on the second. We, me and you, are going to work on this first file here, um, and we're going to try and get the 3 million percent achievement. So we're just going to start with a uh, normal run, and we are going to be unlocking every achievement in the game. Not in this video, because that would be uh, that would be way too hard. But we are going to start working towards that, um, starting with Isaac, because he's the only character we have unlocked. So, let's kill these poops, because if there's anything this game loves, it's uh, poops and making you kill poops. I am going to be making videos every once in a while. I don't want to commit to... Oh, yeah. Awesome. Great. Off to a great start here. Um, I, I don't know if I'm going to have a set schedule yet. Um, probably like once or twice a week. But we're just going to see how it goes. And I've just figured out recording software and all that, so gonna have a great time. Come along for the ride. Let's see what we got here. That is Virgo, which is uh, not terrible. I'm gonna get it after fighting the boss because it gives me soul hearts, and getting soul hearts before the first boss is a fucking scrub lord thing to do. I say as I get hit. Come on. Go down. Go down. Thank you. Great battery. Okay. It is really weird to play as Isaac without the die six, because uh I'm used to having that. It's been a while since I've played in a completely empty slot, so let's uh, let's see how this goes. Hello, Larry. Hello. My father in law. Um, my actual father in law is named Larry, so I like to think of this worm as kind of a relative. Um, just pooping out more poops because, you know, you're going to see a lot of that. Yeah, I love that here. And crying. Tears, just kind of bodily fluids in general are a big part of this game. You can tell that I am just an absolute expert at this game because of how often I'm getting hit and how fucking terrible I've been so far. So, let's pick up Virgo. Heal refresh. Oh, does it not give you... So Why did I think it gave me... I'm thinking of cancer. I'm thinking of cancer. The item, not the trinket. Well, that's awesome. Let's hope we don't just immediately die and... Or ruin our deal with the devil chance, which is pretty much just as bad. Oh, uh, oh, mother. Mmm. Yeah, I'm not not a fan of what's going on here. Um, if I just die here, what? Nope. You know we're gonna we're gonna keep it. We're gonna keep it in because we do not second guess ourselves, and this is not a channel where I'm going to be. Pretending to be better than I am. If I suck, I suck, and you you get to experience it. You get to live, relive um, all the the um, all the suckage. Ringworm. Yeah, that's gonna be a no. That's gonna be a no for me. Absolutely not. And if I am not able to even like get one good run in here, then uh, can you get away from me, ringworm? Like, oh my god. So, if you don't know a lot about this game, you are playing as Isaac. Um, there is kind of an intro sequence in the menu, but I elected not to show that because if you really want to see it, you can probably easily look it up. Just of it is, Isaac is this little kid, lives with his mom, who is experiencing religious visions that tell her to kill him, and he escapes into the basement to, you know, escape her and 
the basement is full of weird, grotesque monsters, because... Is your basement full of weird, grotesque monsters? My basement is full of weird, grotesque monsters. I mean, I live in my basement, so... This game is not the easiest. Uh, it's not so hard, but it does require patience, and patience is something that I do not have. And, you know, that's just the best of items, just... Okay. Interesting. If I could... That... This is actually, um... Wow. That's... That's pretty great, actually, that... No complaints here. Let's, uh... Get some money while we can. carry on. Got 20 coins, got a key, got a guppy item, which is uh, pretty great for the first level. I have the utmost confidence in myself. By that I mean I have no confidence in myself whatsoever. Oh, wow, yeah. Um, I have not played on a new slot for a while and I forgot that uh, you actually need to upgrade the shop for it to have more than just a couple little things in it, so yeah. And moon. Not bad, not bad. Urgency contact, we can use that on the boss. And still have our deal with double chance. Love to buy a soul heart, but uh, those don't exist yet in the shop, so. Wow, I'm getting just a ridiculous amount of money. That's uh, just, yep. Thank you. Oh, awesome. It just took out the little dips. Ah, uh, yeah, that's great. That's okay. This guy is... I need to... I, it's automatic for me to skip the uh, like little loading screens. And I need to not do that so you can actually see what I'm fighting. Because then it's fun for you. Um, but this little guy, his name is Dingle, and he's kind of a pushover. He's not the hardest of the original bosses. He... I mean, he has a decent amount of health, but he has a very predictable pattern, so... Yeah. It's kind of relaxing, you just, you know, going through the motions, fighting a, fighting a poop. And you're done. Just clean up these dips. The floor is just so stained with disgusting things. Monstro's tooth, awesome. I mean, not awesome because it's a terrible item, but awesome that I got it. And it's not a very good uh, item, but I will take it because I want to lock in Devil Deals. And hopefully we can unlock, I think it is Azazel, who is unlocked by taking three Devil Deals in one run. We're on Caves 1. We only have six levels to get through with this first run because until you beat Mom, you can't go further than that. And we are definitely going to be bomb. Or we're not going to die on the first floor, because that never happened. There's the chargers. I don't know the actual names for a lot of the enemies in game, just because there is like a, a bestiary that tells it, but aside from that, it's not really necessary to know. Oh, I'll use the moon. Sure. Oh, key beggar. I hate you. Not gonna ah! Okay. I'm oh, we haven't even gotten the treasure. Let me... Look, look at that. I haven't seen the shop either. Yeah, I'm missing so much. This is a big floor, actually. For being... Uh, and of course we did. Yeah, yeah, that's... Very cool. Well, we probably wouldn't have gotten anyway. 33. Oh, homing. Yes. Thank you. I actually really love Spoonbender. Uh, mainly because it's a very pretty purple color. But also homing is just nice. Especially if we can get laser or brimstone or something. Blue map has appeared. Blue map shows all secret rooms automatically. Store upgrade level one already. Not bad, not bad. Probably should have hung on to my money because if you get 50 pennies, I think, you can unlock Kane. But uh, we'll do that when we get that. I have no real desire to get Kane early. He is a good character. He's probably one of the best characters, but... Oh, fuck. Oh. Um... 
excuse my language. This is PG-13, I can get one F word in there. Start using my bombs here, because Chubb does not like bombs. Off to a start. I hesitate to call it a good start, but we are off to a start, and as I've stated before, I will not edit out my deaths. I own up to what happened, and you know, we're just gonna keep. We're just gonna keep going. I am a very optimistic person, and I believe that I can do it. This is the time. Third time's the time. This time, we're gonna exercise absolute caution and absolute dedication and skill because I, I'm skillful. So, let's, uh, let's crime some worms. Ah, ooh. Look at me. It's whatever. Sometimes damage doesn't happen. I mean, not bad. It can save you some heartbreak. It's just very unreliable. We're just gonna go. And we're just gonna crack our book here, become invincible, and just go to toe-to-toe-to-toe -to -toe -to -toe with Larry. And yeah, I cracked that too soon. Well, it doesn't matter if we get hit anyway. Oh man, you hit me. Terrible. I'm... Not the greatest at not getting hit. Just usually what stops me from winning in this game. Which I guess is obvious. But generally I'm just impatient and that leads to my, my inevitable demise. So, health up. Great. I have very big opinions about items. And I need to stop skipping through the little cut screens. That terrible. Bad habits. I am in a constant cycle of death and rebirth, for which there is no escape and no hope of any. I don't know. No hope of anything. Childly should be great if I had familiars bomb would be nice. Oh, let's see what that is. Moving on. Yeah, flies. Love flies. Flies are the best. Um, if there's an enemy in this game that I like, it's, it's flies. Nothing like a good fly in the morning. Nothing like a nice bowl of flies. Oh, yeah, okay. Just pause randomly. My computer did that. I did not do that. We don't know why. We don't- Stop doing this. Oh my god. Oh my god. You just need to- Thank you. Just die already. Oh, Jacob's Ladder. That's awesome. That- That is one of the best items. Not- I mean, it's pretty good. Ah, uh, do I smell a- <laughs> No... Over here. I tried. Monstro! The most classic little boss in the game. I like seeing his little face. It's kind of heartwarming. Just like, hey buddy. Hey pal. Give you a, give you a little smooch there. Kind of, I think originally all the enemies in this game were meant to be just weird, deformed versions of Isaac, which you can kind of see with Monstro. And no deal with the devil. But heading down with high spirits because I do have a soul heart and I have two health ups. So, what's the worst that can happen? I'm, uh, yeah. Look, it's the worst that could happen. Nah, luck, lust isn't too bad. There we go. 
This is not a good room. Just Oh, lucky rock. Is that the um I think that makes coins whenever you break rocks, which is a, can be a very good item. That's a mimic. It's got spikes. Not gonna do that. And I got another health up. Okay. Um, some deals with the devil would be great to get rid of that, all that excess health. I don't like having a ton of health. And let's see what the treasure room has in store for us. Yes. It is a damage down, but it is a massive fire right up. And with all my electricity, I think that's a, that's a plus. Yeah, we're wrecking shit now. Let's see what we got. Double dingle. Not worried. Like I said, Dingle's pushover. Easy. Easy stuff. Very easy stuff. Just a couple of the numerous poop-based enemies in the game. Ah! Infamy actually saved me from taking damage there. Thank you, Infamy. Just focusing on uh, bringing these two down. And dodging like a badass. Boop, 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 boop. One down, one to go. Goodbye, sir. Goodbye. Another health up. Ah, I unlocked Maggie. Nice. So many unlocks. Eh. Yeah, we're not going to take that. Nope, we're not going to take that. I guess we'll go for angel rooms or maybe even nothing because we don't really need it. I mean, it's only three more levels to go and then we'll be done with the first first unlock of this endeavor. Jacob's Ladder is just so good. It's just absolutely wrecking these guys. Just good night, little spiders. Good night. Good night, sweet prince. And key exactly what we want. Exactly what the doctor ordered, and there's a damage up. Love it. Absolutely love it. Let's see what we got here. Lots of little headless men. If there's anything I love walking into a room and seeing, it's lots of little headless men. That's a Cheshire Wolf promise. Did I say my name already? I'm Cheshire Wolf. Hi. Boop, 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 boop. We can afford to go in here. Oh. Very cool. That was almost completely not worth going in there. I also use crying as my main uh, offensive maneuver in real life. Something about me, naturally, that just makes people pity me. Um, it's actually pretty useful. It's, there's uh, worse things. Worse things to people think. Some little bats, little chubby bat friend. I would love to hug because bats are the best. We're not going to go bother going back to the chest. We'll save it for the next floor. But we are going to use our little invincibility here. I mean, at this point, can we really be beaten? Like, I'm pretty sure we're just an unstoppable force at this point. Like, Chug can do nothing. And she's down. A little chubby. Growth hormones. Now I'm lumpy and deal more damage. Man, if there's anything I love, it's being lovely and dealing more damage. Oh, the other thing that this game really loves is um, organs. Because they're the best. Also creepy religious imagery. Which is also the best. Kill the knights. Let's go in here. And... There go all our health. Uh, yes, it's a guppy item. Was it worth getting rid of six hearts? Absolutely not. That was a bas bad mistake. That could uh, cost me the game, but, you know, we're actually just too pro and too good to care about things like that, so. Oh, I have five fire right in Jacob's Ladder. Who cares? Ah, some bloody headless little men. The only thing worse than a headless little man is a bloody headless little man. Wafer would be great if we were going past mom, but, you know, we're not, so... Boop, boop, boop. Oh, man. Don't remember what these guys are called, but, uh... 
Yeah, I hate them. So, there's that. And Monstro. Two! I remember when I was first learning how to play this game, I just could not beat Monstro 2. It was like every time I encountered him, it was run ending immediately. So hard to beat. Now, eh. A lot of health, but it's a pushover just like Monstro. Like Monstro, but less pretty. You done. Health up to recoup my losses and Spear of Destiny, nice. Yeah, got a little bit out of that. Nope. Well, that mm, might actually be worth it. Yeah, I'll take a tick. Um, it's a trinket. You can't take it off once you pick it up, unless you get the matchstick. But it'll slightly reduce the health of Mom, and really, that's all you need. And let's check what's in here. Nothing. Ah! That was dumb. Alright, you're done. We have more than enough firepower to kill Mom at this point, I think. Kill some Globins. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, we don't have a key. Well, you win some, you lose some. You win some. There we go. Big, beautiful fly. Love you, big, beautiful fly. We are approaching the end of this endeavor. After three runs. Let's go. Boom, boom. Die, 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 die. We're just gonna tank it. We're just gonna use our Spear of Destiny here. Yep, that is our mom, who up until now has just looked like a normal human and still looks like a normal human because... Yep, very cool. We're just gonna skip that. If you really want to find it, you can, you can find it. Regardless, we have beaten the first run of the game and unlocked a, a whole bunch of stuff. Um bunch of challenges, which I will be doing videos on all of those, because I am in this. And next time, we can choose from a couple different characters, or go and do any of these many challenges. So, until then, thank you so much for watching, and till next time.